The dollar yen hit my 152 target that I mentioned last Friday when the market was trading around 149, but where is it likely to go next week? What key levels am I watching? And more importantly, what are we targeting if we do get that 152 breakout, which is looking more likely with the DXY starting to break out today. And before we get into the dollar yen video, guys, I do wanna mention I have a new promo with my preferred broker, Blu-ray Markets. So click on the link at the top of this video and you're gonna be taken to a page where you can sign up with them. Okay, so click on this Get Started down here fill out the application. And what you're gonna to need to do is deposit at least $100 or more to get lifetime access to VIP, that's it. I'm only requiring $100, normally it's $500. And once you trade one lot with them, you are going to also get a 30% trade credit or bonus on top of your deposit. So if you deposit $1,000, you're gonna get a $300 trading bonus, okay? Obviously, if you deposit more, then that trading bonus will be more as well. And you're also gonna get lifetime access to VIP once you deposit at least $100 and trade one lot, I will give you lifetime access to our VIP group, which includes daily videos, my help with your trading, and also the ability to see my trades in real time. All right, so this link is also in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out, guys, before the offer expires. All right, so with the dollar yen, last week, guys, last Friday, we were talking about the market, you know, the potential for that move up toward 152. This was the likely scenario for two main reasons. The first one is that 152 goes back several years. So if we look here at the five-day time frame and head all the way out here to look at the 2022 high, what you'll notice is that 152 has been a significant factor for the dollar yen. Now, levels like this, when the market is trading very close to them, and notice how February failed to retest it, these levels tend to serve as magnets. And that's exactly what we saw happen here this week. Now, on top of that, okay, furthermore, we also had these equal highs from back here in February. So again, the market failed to retest 152 in February, and we also had these equal highs build up. So what this meant is that there were stops above these recent highs. If this high right here, if this you know high had taken out this one back here, then this wouldn't really necessarily be the case, at least not to the extent that we have when we have equal highs like this. Because if this high back here had taken out this one had swept, this initial high, then it would have taken out the stops that had built up from this high back here, okay? But because we had those equal highs, we had a ton of stops that had built up up here between 150.9 and 152, and that's exactly what we saw here this week, okay? So always remember, guys, markets seek liquidity, and we knew that there was a pocket of liquidity up here in this region. All right, so where do we go from here, right? We saw the target hit at 152. The market was trading down here last week when I mentioned it. Um, so that was a nice little move, but where do we go from here? That's really what everybody wants to know right now. And for the dollar yen guys, I mean, right now, 152 is going to be a strong resistance. That's first and foremost. Um, don't make the mistake of thinking the market's just going to blow right through here. Just because again, this level does go back several years. It's going to take some time. We could see the market just go sideways here, chop around a little bit, um, next week before we get a move in either direction. Okay. So the bullish scenario for the dollar yen would be a sustained break above 152 on the higher time frames. And the bear scenario, at least short term, would be a close back below 150.9. Okay, so if we were to see the market take out these highs from back here, close back down here, that would be bearish. Obviously, above 152 would be bullish. Now, where do we go, though, above 152? Because if you'll notice here, I typically use OANDA for these charts. And if you go all the way back here, what you're going to notice is that there's no data, right? We have to go back a very long way to find data prior to the 2000s. Right, so for that, I'm gonna use the FXCM chart. So head over here, and this is a good time to remind you guys too, that if you saw my recent video on this, we talked about the potential for this entire pattern to be an ascending triangle, right? So for the last few years, the market has been carving a potential ascending triangle. Now about 60 to 70% of the time, these patterns will break higher. And that could be even greater right now, considering what the DXY is doing, which we'll talk about in a moment. All right, now what's really fascinating about this, um, and by the way, guys, while we're on this, if you do enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to, to smash the like button. So while we're on this, what's really fascinating about this is that the objective of this pattern, okay, if you take the height of this from the high up here at 152 down here toward this trend line and, e and measure an equal distance over here from 152, you get an objective of 176.56. Now, what's fascinating about that is that you might be thinking, well, so what? You look at this chart, who really cares? Because that's a no man's land. Until you go to a monthly chart and go all the way back here to 1978. 
Okay, so this was the 1978 low right here, 176.56, which again is the objective of this ascending triangle. So that in and of itself is fascinating. And consider this, guys, this low from back here in 1978 was never retested as resistance. Notice how in the 80s, the market broke down and never looked back, right? We never got a retest up here as new resistance. So I'm not saying that the market will head here. And I'm also certainly not saying that it will happen quickly because this is a monthly time frame. Um, it could take years for this to play out for all we know, right? At a minimum, it would take months unless we were to get, you know, some crazy movement here, um, you know, most likely from the yen. But 176.56 is definitely an area, you know, over the longer term to keep an eye on if we do get that 152 breakout. Now, let's talk about key levels if we do get the breakout and not levels that could take months or years to play out. Um, and the first one's going to be 155.6. So for that, again, we have to go back a very long way here for the dollar yen because there really is no data um, above 152 for the last couple of decades. And so we have to go back here to the area um, in the 1990s, okay, early 1990s. And you can see where we have these highs up here and we've got this low as well as this high. So the two levels to watch above 152 are gonna be 155.6 and 160.4. And the reason for that is this range that had built up back here in 1990. Now, that might seem like a very long way to go back to find a key level, and it is, but markets never forget, right? Markets don't forget these levels. So if we do get the sustained break above 152, again, that is what's going to be key. So we have to see the dollar yen trading up here on the higher time frames to flip 152 to support. If we get that, then 155.6 would be my next target. Um, and that leaves us with a lot of room to play with here if we do get the breakout. All right, now let's take a look here at the DXY because this is also going to matter. A lot of people dismiss the DXY when looking at the dollar yen because they think it really only applies to the Euro since the Euro is the heaviest weighted uh, currency in the dollar index, but they do move together for the most part. So the DXY is going to be one to pay attention to. Now, right now, guys, what we, ha what we had to hear this week, this has been crazy, is you can see on FOMC, right? We got this huge sell-off here on this red candle. And the market closed right at the low. Now, the very next day gapped down and then yesterday reclaimed the area between 103.6 to 103.8. So it looks to me like this FOMC move was a trap, right? It was a bear trap. Furthermore, look at this Thursday range. Okay, if you guys saw last weekend's forecast, what I said is that on Friday, okay, we got the breakout here on Thursday. Friday's session barely retraced that Thursday candle which was a breakout candle following the fake out below 103. Okay, so this was an imbalance down here that had yet to be filled. So that's what I talked about in last weekend's forecast. And sure enough, look at this low here yesterday, right? The market gap down, came right into this candle back here, filled that imbalance. And now obviously over the past two days, we've seen the DXY absolutely take off. And furthermore, 104.45, this is the level I've talked about. Look at today's high, right off of 104.45. So the market is knocking on the door of a breakout, which is why if we do get the DXY trading up here next week, I am going to be looking for a bullish break from the dollar yen. Okay, now it still needs to break out because technically it's below uh, resistance, but for the DXY, for the dollar in general, guys, what we are looking at is potentially a break above this area here where you can see we have this descending channel off of these highs. We've also got these lows down here. So if we get the breakout, right, this range from back here in early 2023, this is the range that the DXY was in for a very long time. And then we got the fake out below, right? The market swept these lows and we got the fake out above. Now this level through here around 105.8, this was respected on a weekly closing basis. But essentially what you got here is a fake out down here below the lows and a fake out above the highs. Notice what happened every single time in both cases where we got the confirmed fake out through here, the market trended higher. We got the firm confirmed fake out below the 105.8 level and the market trended lower. Okay, so this really has just been one big range for the dollar. Okay, so if we do get the break above this area uh, right around 104.45, then I do think 105 and 106 are going to come into play um, relatively quickly right? Because like I mentioned recently in previous videos is this down here to start the year was a fake out. 
This up here was a fake out above 104.45, and this below 103 was also a fake out. Again, notice what happened every time we got the confirmation. Okay, we got the move away from these fake outs. So if this down here is the fake out, we're looking at potentially this being the correction here and the next impulsive move for the dollar being higher. All right, so we'll see if the market can break out here above 104.45. Um, but if it does, though, again, I think you really have to start gearing yourself toward looking at a bullish breakout for the dollar yen, potentially, if it can clear 152, right? So if the dollar is breaking out, if the DXY is breaking out higher, then I really don't think you want to be looking for shorts here um, from 152. The only way that happens is if we get the DXY breaking down, right, rejecting from this area up here and starting to break back down again, and the dollar yen breaking back below 150.9. If we were to get those two things, right, then that, of course, would be bearish, at least in the short term. But right now, though, I see no reason to try to short this from 152. If anything, I'm looking for either a sweep down here into this wick next week for a long or we get the sustained break above 152. But either way, though, for the dollar overall, um, again, the DXY does look bullish. So, you know, dollar yen higher, euro, pound lower, um, et cetera. As long as we get those breakouts, though, I am still waiting on this. You know, we'll see how it handles 104.45. But that's what I'm looking at going into next week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to smash the like button and also join Blueberry Markets using the link in the description of this video. To join VIP, all you have to do is deposit $100 or more to get lifetime access. Have a great weekend, guys, and I will talk to you again tomorrow in the weekly forecast.